Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, welcome to this channel once again. It's Afis, your Power BI trainer. So what I'm going to be showing us in today's video is I want to show us how we can use actions in our Power BI desktop or in Power BI service so that you can use it to add interactivity to whatever you want to show your end user. So basically, when I click on top five customers, it shows me this. And I click on top five products, it shows me this. And I come again and it shows me this. So how do we do these simple styles in Power BI Desktop is what we are going to be working on in this video. Let's get started. Okay, in order to do what we want to do to achieve our objective, what we need to do is we quickly create a bar chart. We need to create two bar chart first. And um, I create the very first one. And the very first bar chart, we want to show our top five products. And what we do, we bring, we come to our products. And we bring products to Axis. And over here also, we come down and we have our sales. We bring sales to values. And we need to show top five. I come to my filter pane. Under my filter pane and under product name, I'm going to change it to top N and I have five inside and I add my sales as my value and I apply filter. Everything looks good. We are happy. So what we need to do next is to do the second one for our, what, for our customers. So I'm going to do just as I did earlier and um, I increase the, the size. I bring my customers. My customers, I bring it towards to my axis and sales to values. And I come over to my filter pane. I change it to top N. And I have five. And I bring my sales. I bring it to values. And OK, I bring it to values, sales to values. I bring sales to values and apply my filter and everything looks good for these customers. We can change the color and we come to data colors and we change it to green and everything looks good. We are happy. So what we need to do now is to create two buttons that is going to activate these two guys. So I just show one first and I show the other. I come to my insert tab under insert. I'm going to have a blank button and inside this blank button i'm going to give it a name i'm going to put something inside it so the very first one i come to text over here and text i'm going to give it top five what's top five products and i'm going to change it the font size to 16 okay So this looks good. We just need to come to title now. And in our title, I switch it on first and I give it a name. So we call it top five products. But we don't want this to show. We don't want it to show. We just switch it off again. And we repeat the same process for our customer. I come to my buttons again. I come to blank. I bring it down. I increase the size and I come to text again, just like we did earlier. And I have my top five words customers. I increase the font size to 16. Okay, everything looks good. We are happy. And we come to what title again in title. I switch it on first, I give it a name top five customers okay and i switch it off we are going to see the reason for this very shortly and we have this now so basically these buttons they don't do anything at the moment they cannot make this guy work so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come over to my selection pane we have what we call selection pane we come to view and i have my selection pane in selection pane can you see all the names of those things I've created. We have top five product, top five customers, sales by customer name and sales by product name. 
we don't have this so this uh, this is what we have we have this five times and this is what we have over here so what we want to do now is to create actions for this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to my customer name sales by customer name which is this guy this guy over here i'm going to off it can you see now that it is not showing at that instance i can increase the size of this which looks good and for this particular instance i want to bookmark this instance that i am and i'm going to give it a name this bookmark i bookmark this particular state and i give it a name that i can quickly understand and i'm going to call it my what and um, this is products this is products view and everything looks good and i'm just going to repeat the same process i'm going to come to my customer now which is not showing so we want we want to activate the eye we want it to show and we don't want our product to show at this instance and i change the location now and i increase it again after doing that guess what do i do next i add it as a bookmark again and this bookmark i give it the what i give it a name i'm going to call it what customer view So after doing this, again, our buttons still don't have actions. We've only created bookmarks for this state. So what do I do next? What I do next is that I'm going to come to my top five product button. I'm in top five product button now. And in my format button, I just come down to actions. I activate my action and I change the type to bookmark. And I select a particular type of bookmark, which is what we want to see for top five. We want it to activate product view. Everything looks good. I come back to my what's top five customer button. I activate the action. I come to bookmark. I change it to what? I change it to what? To customer. So everything looks good like that. We are done with our task. So basically now, once I click on top five products, we can see now that the visual changes. I click on top five foot customers, the visual changes. So it is a very cool way of adding interactivity to our report or dashboard. We can just use actions. There are a lot of things we can use action for. You can use it to change pages of your reports. You can use it to change the type of charts you have. You, have, you can use it for basically anything you want to use it for. So it's cool and i encourage us to use it so that is about adding actions to buttons thank you guys for staying behind and watching kindly like subscribe and share if you have any suggestion or any question let me know in the comment section and i may answer them in one of my upcoming videos